Ever wondered who the real titan of the cosmos is? Is it the neutron star or the black hole? As we probe the cosmos, two celestial bodies stand out for their mind-boggling features and sheer cosmic power. The neutron star and the black hole. But what are they exactly and how do they come to be? Let's start with neutron stars. Born from the fiery death of a massive star, a neutron star emerges when the star's core collapses under its own gravity, compressing its particles into a super-dense sphere just about 12 miles in diameter. Imagine trying to fit the mass of our sun into a city the size of Manhattan. That's how dense these stellar remnants are. Their density is so immense that a teaspoon of neutron star material would weigh about a billion tons on Earth. But it's not just their size and density that are impressive. Neutron stars also boast enormously powerful magnetic fields, a million times stronger than the strongest magnet on Earth. These magnetic fields, coupled with their rapid rotation, make them some of the most magnetic objects in the universe. Now, let's turn our gaze to black holes. They're the cosmic beasts that even light can't escape from. Black holes form when a star, significantly larger than our sun, collapses under its own gravitational pull, leaving behind a point in space with such intense gravity that it warps the fabric of space-time itself. The black hole's most defining feature is its event horizon, the point of no return from which nothing, not even light, can escape. And at the heart of a black hole is the singularity, a point of infinite density where the laws of physics as we know them cease to exist. So we've got neutron stars, the ultra-dense, super-magnetic remnants of massive stars, and black holes, the all-consuming monsters of the cosmos. Both are incredibly fascinating and equally terrifying in their own right. Now that we have a grasp on the basics of these celestial titans, it's time to put them head to head. As we dive deeper into the cosmic battlefield, we see two of the universe's heavyweights, the neutron star and the black hole, ready to show us their might. In one corner, we have the neutron star, a collapsed core of a giant star left over from a supernova explosion. Despite its small size, it packs a punch with its intense gravitational pull, which is about a billion times stronger than Earth's. But don't let its size fool you. Neutron stars can spin at a rate of up to 600 times per second, faster than a black hole. They also have a unique ability to emit beams of radiation, which can be detected as pulsars from Earth. In the other corner, we have the black hole, a region of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape its grasp. Formed from the remnants of massive stars, these cosmic juggernauts are known for their immense gravitational pull. In fact, their gravitational force is so strong it bends time itself. But how do these titans form? Well, neutron stars are the remnants of supernovae, explosive deaths of stars much bigger than our sun. On the other hand, black holes are the end result of stars at least three times the mass of the sun collapsing under their own gravity. Both of these cosmic beasts exhibit unique behaviors. Neutron stars, with their rapid spin and strong magnetic fields, emit beams of electromagnetic radiation. Black holes, however, are infamous for their event horizons, the point of no return where gravity becomes so strong that escape is impossible. So, when it comes down to it, who's the boss of the cosmos? Well, if we're judging based on mass and gravitational pull, black holes take the crown. But, if we consider spin speed and the ability to emit beams of radiation, neutron stars shine bright. In the end, the cosmos is a vast and varied place, and there's room for more than one boss.